Today is the day where your roster will be built, where your team will be formed, where championship medal will be formed. And that'll all take place here at AT&T Stadium on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, technically morning here in these here parts in Arlington, Texas. Come on out and try your skills around the fan zone here as AT&T Stadium is once again the home of the 2018 NFL Draft. He's still out there. Two days of searching, calculating, deal making, and breaking. You might not know who, but he is definitely still out there. Diamond in the war room rough. But where will they find him? And when? This is day three of the 2018 NFL Draft on ESPN. Presented by Courtyard. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could ascend. Step inside, step inside. Or in this case, step outside. Because we are enjoying the sun along with the fans who are here for the rest of the 2018 NFL Draft. Rounds four through seven. And you will see each and every single pick. Glad you're with us. Trey Wingo here with Lewis Riddick, Todd McShay, and Mel Kuyper Jr. is here as well. Whether you're watching on ESPN, ABC, the ESPN app, ESPN Plus, we are glad you're sharing part of your Saturday with us. And this is going to be a quite exceptional day. We have plenty of great names and college players that you well know still available to be drafted. Mel, let's start with you. Where do your eyes go on the best talent still left? First of all, these guys haven't plummeted. Trey, they just dropped just a little bit. Most were projected as third round picks going in. Shaq Griffin, you think about Shaquem Griffin at Central Florida. What a great talent he is. 438 speed at nearly 230 pounds. Sub packages, special teams. Then you get the quarterbacks who lack arm strength. That would be Falk and Laletta. White has the arm, but limited mobility. And then Antonio Callaway. You're talking about a guy who scored touchdowns five different ways. Explosive, but suspended for the season. Character concerns. That's why he's still on the board. Yeah, you know what? Hey, I, I, Mel didn't leave me a whole bunch of time, but I'm going to tell you about a few guys, too. We Look, we got Maurice Hurst from Michigan, the guy who has the heart issue. Look, this is a guy who really at the D tackle is one of the most explosive three techniques in this draft. One of the guys who can really get upfield and penetrate. We'll see if he goes here today because he's someone who really had high round value. You know better than that, Lou. Mel's not going to leave a lot on the board. <laughs> the day three of the draft. That. I should Look go at, last. Hey, more running backs, though. Mark Walton, injury, really talented running back, and Akram Wadley from Iowa, some playmakers. <laughs> and now let's open up day three of the draft with Troy Vincent to get it going.